morning everybody how are we happy weekly vlog it's wednesday today and i'm starting my new weekly vlog i hope we're all feeling okay i'm actually just about to go down to the gym and do a little session today by myself because i don't have a live workout today so i'm going to bring you down i'm actually going to try something new today which i'm actually quite excited to do so we're going to go do that but just before we do i wanted to play a song because basically one of my best friends holly um, she has just launched her second single and I think I showed you some bits of these songs quite a while ago now and you guys seem to really like them and I mean I love them I mean I love Holly I love the songs. I think they're so amazing so I'm gonna play one and have a little bit of a pre-workout snazz myself <laughs> right anyway guys let's run down one second we're gonna run down to the gym hang on let's go we're here oh it smells lovely in here Niall's just giving it a mop I think with um one of our sephoras so it's oh you come to join go on then you're getting used to the gym aren't you go on blue killing it Face your fears. <laughs> she wasn't sure of the gym for a while. I don't really know why. All right, see you then, hun. <laughs> so basically, today, I thought this morning when I was lying in bed, I was like, you know what? I fancy trying something new. So I've come up with like a little bit of a cardio weight circuit. I was just gonna do the Stairmaster, to be honest, but I thought, you know what, let's, let's, let's mix it up today. So I'm going to be doing, oh, I forgot my phone and that's where my circuit's written down on. We're gonna do kind of a mixture. I was thinking kettlebell swings, because I haven't done them in a while, although my kettlebell may be a little bit too heavy, let's see, because I usually do this with an eight, and this is a 12. Oh no, we're okay, we can do them. Right, there we go. We're gonna do some kettlebell swings, some Stairmaster, and I'm gonna get my Reebok box out, because I haven't used it yet. And I thought, you know what, why not? I will move you back so you can properly see when I do the circuit. But basically what I'm gonna do, one of them is just some box jumps. But I might, um, I was thinking some toe taps as well. Why not throw them in there? Um, I can't remember the other thing. I'm gonna do something like that, but I'm gonna show you it as I do it. Just get our sweat on this morning. Truth that Bluebell is very much not looking forward to. It's time to brush your ear, Bluey. I did one earlier and I forgot to do the other. Basically, I don't know what the heck Bluebell's been up to. <laughs> do you know what's about to happen, little one? You know those sticky plants with the little bauble things? Last night she came in covered, her feet were green and her ears were covered in them. So I brushed out one ear before I went and did my workout, but um, forgot to do the other one. So we're gonna give Bluebell a little bit of a brush. I love it when it is a brush. She looks like she's been electrocuted. Oh, you're a little mess, aren't you? Look at them all flying out. Let me just show them. Oh my gosh, look at that fluffy ear. 
<laughs> it's like a despicable me when she goes, it's so fluffy, I want to die. It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's a little lion cub. Oh, you look so cute. Look at your fluffy ears. I'm obsessed with Bluebell's ears. Anyone else? And her toes. I know lots of us are obsessed with her toes, actually. I just can't ever bring myself to trim them. My little Grinch toe, aren't you? <laughs> Good girl. Right, guys, we're about to do some baking. So I decided because it's supposed to be really rainy the next few days, it would just be a nice thing to do. Eat some cookies in the rain. Look at that. Gonna so go the rainy days with a big belly. No, we won't. Have you got enough galaxy here? I know. I think, did you need two bars? I think I overdid it. So if you can't already see, we're gonna make some galaxy cookies. Does the recipe call for a kilo of galaxy? Well, it says 350 grams, and one of them's 300. 200, one of them is. Oh, there we go. There. That's so why we've got two. These are the ones I'm gonna make. They're from a site called Jane Patissier. So we're gonna make them. I love a cookie. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's the one. James Patisserie. I always say stuff wrong. To be fair, they look like the ones you get in a supermarket. They're in the freshly baked bags, which, by the way, are the best. No, these ever. are going to be the best. Yeah, they are. I've set my oven to 180 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Someone made that mistake in one of Niall's cooking videos. It was funny. <laughs> Chicken didn't cook. <laughs> so, where's my mixing bowl? Are you assisting me today or what, hun? It looks like you're about to assist me. Oh, hi, Al. You're so rude. Okay, so we basically need to mix the butter and the two sugars until light and fluffy. I'm not going to be very good at that. I might need some assistance with the arm work. I'll get my hands in that. Go on then. No, you. Go on then. It's not my cookies, your cookies. Oh, but this is the bit that I actually want to help you. I hope you've got some clean hands, honey. Always clean me. Shower every day sometimes. I can't believe you. <laughs> I was just going to say, because I, I realised that when I bake, I often talk about the TV shows that I'm watching. And I wanted to share, because I've been looking for a new series for a while now. We're going to watch Ozark. We're not watching anything else before Ozark. No, yeah, we are going to watch Ozark. We haven't watched Ozark yet. And I think lots of people really like Ozark, don't they? But... I've started watching something on the weekend, which is very, I feel a little bit geeky, but I love it. What is it? Torchwood. Oh, God. <laughs> Has anyone else seen Torchwood? Because I love it, because I love the old Doctor Who's where David Tennant was in, which I feel like, again, a little bit geeky. A little bit geeky, yeah. It's a it bit... takes me back. There's nothing wrong with being geeky anyway. It's a bit unlike you, to be honest. No, but I like it. I love David. I love a bit of Dave. I wish he'd come back to Doctor Who and then I'd watch it again. I think he's a bit above that now. Oh, but it's just so, he was so no, good. to be fair, when he was... Doctor Who was Wasn't big he when he was in it. Yeah, and it's not... But then, is it... Was it because of him or was it because we no, were just that age? Just, it just returned. I think it was because... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Doctor Who was a massive show when we were, like, not even born and then they brought it back. But is it not a big show now? Mm, I don't think it's as big now, Because no. they've got the girl now, haven't they, it's from Broadchurch. She yeah. was the doctor, which is a bit strange. Yeah, come on. To have, because she, she acts like David Tennant did as the doctor, but she's not David Tennant. Well, the doctor has to act like that. Going back to actually why I was talking about Doctor Who, Torchwood is like Doctor Who, and because, like, yeah, they're just very similar. Well, it's, it's a, technically a spin-off. No, not even technically, it's just a spin-off. It is a spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely recommend if you like Doctor Who, watch Torchwood. It's on BBC iPlayer. I loved it this weekend. I'm only a few episodes in, I've got like five seasons to go yet, huh? Can't uh, wait. Um, right, so I'm adding the vanilla essence and the egg. Just a little bit of it. Thank you for moulding my butter, hun. You don't need me anymore. Yeah, do. Come on, join us for a little bit. Where have, you got? Where have you got to be? Also, we had some good news today. Our mirrors are currently going into the gym. They finally. The yeah, so it took a week for them to fix their van, but the mirrors are finally going in. I'll show you them after when they're in. We just went and had a peek and it looks so cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going to add all of the powdery things now. So we need to add cocoa powder, baking powder, bicarb of soda, and the flour. 
And then I think we move on to the chocolate section after that, which I'm excited about. There you go. I, I think that is everything. I love how Niall's just taking over the steering. Thanks, Ed. So now we need to chop up the galaxy chocolate to one centimeter ish size pieces and fold through. And then we just make the cookies. Oh, very easy. We don't need to melt them, we just make them into our chunks. Love it! Do you know what's funny? I told Nana, I thought you were on a cut. I'm not on a cut. If you eat one of these cookies, you've got to tell them in your what I eat in a day today. No lying. I will. <laughs> I'm not on a cut, I'm just saying what my diet is going to be from now on and I'm I thought you said you up. didn't want any, any like cheeky foods anymore <laughs> No, obviously you have to have some but just not as much as we were having I am <laughs> on, Look at that, it's that quick isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a chop. The cutting chocolate game I've been informed by somebody on my last vlog that my screechy high voice is annoying So I feel like I'm not going to stop though because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm not going to stop It's a natural occurrence in my speech Like saying natural occurrence <laughs> But I think that maybe it's just when I get overexcited about the situation <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I can understand why you might find that annoying but to be fair so I'm going to try and just get me a bit less excitable but Looking back at what I've vlogged already so far today, I've been very excitable, so... You don't want to be less excitable. No, I know. I'm just going to be me, and if, if you don't like my voice, then you don't like my voice. Get out of it! Oh, oh there it was! It was there again! Right, our mixture is looking... This is really hard to do one-handed, but it is looking... Lovely! But I need to get these chocolate chunks in a little bit better. I wanted to give you a bit of a closer look. Where's my assistant gone? Come back to me. What? The ball's nearly falling off the table because I'm trying to do this. Oh, Christ. I'm trying to do it one-handed to show them the cookies up close. That looks like a nice cookie dough, if I do say so. Come on, give us a taste test. You like a bit of cookie dough, don't you? Oh, oh it's a moment of truth. Very nice. <laughs> oh, won't you come up? into their balls we've made nine which is actually what Jane said in her recipe was how many she made so they're supposed to be like ginormous cookies I think and I've left them massively spaced apart because if you know my track record with making my own cookies they always join to one ginormous cookie which is fine but I want to just see <laughs> if this time we can make them individual so I'm gonna pop them in the oven now for I think she said 13 minutes and we'll see how they come out. Actually, I've just thought I want to do a 3, 2, 1 from the cookie dough to the actual cookie. So, in 3, 2, 1, ta -da! Oh my gosh. I know I followed a recipe, but I feel like I've outdone myself this time. Come see them now. They look like the cookies you buy in the bakery section of co-op how good they've got a call cool. <laughs> they look really nice don't they what's the difference between these cookies and those other ones that went a bit wrong the other day well it was a very a few weeks ago was, um there's a difference i can think of it was a very different recipe hun and, different ingredients and i don't know what you had help from someone that's someone being me so I'm I think you helped me with this. the other ones too, didn't you? No. All right. Did then. I? Maybe. They look so good. I did it. I made a cookie that actually came out like a cookie. They <laughs> <laughs> did look really good. We've got to wait for them to cool. No touchy. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them to cool down and then do a taste test. I think I'm gonna make myself some lunch now. I'm actually currently drinking a smoothie Nile made for me. A Nile special. He's given me the look from the Xbox chair. I'm gonna make some food. And actually this afternoon, we're going to transform the spare room downstairs together. I'm getting my paint overalls out and it's gonna be, I, I've got some cute things for the room which I'm gonna show you after, but we're gonna do a big transformation. But anyway, gonna eat some food, see you later. Want to come play outside? 
Come on then, come on. Let's show everybody your ginormous stick. <laughs> Bluebell has found this absolutely massive bamboo stick in our garden which she likes playing fetch with and it's hilarious when she fetches it because it's just way too big for her, I'll show you. Ready? Go on then! Bring it back, Bluey! Oh look! <laughs> she swung it around! Go on, Blue, bring it back! You can do it! We did it the other day for ages. Oh, good girl! <laughs> She's dragging it. Right, ready? Ready? <laughs> Everyone, all <laughs> oh, right, she's a bit funny about her bamboo stick. <laughs> what are we thinking then, Han? <laughs> food, glorious food. <laughs> very nice, they are very nice. I had a taste as well. Yeah. This cookie literally looks like the most perfect cookie, doesn't it? I don't even want to eat that one, I just want to savor it and put it in a box. Let's frame it. Let's frame it. What do you think, Blue Bab? That's when people came round <laughs> to the guest room and there's just a framed cookie there. Why is that there? Because Megan made a cookie that looked like a cookie for once. And she goes all mouldy. <laughs> no! Anyway, I've eaten some lunch. I just had some leftover fajita pasta, which was lovely. So, we're going to trap this room now because this afternoon, this is what we're focusing on. So, let me show you as you walk in. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look terrible, but I just didn't really know what to do with this room because if you look up there, it's got kind of like an outline around the ceiling, which is strange. And then also this little cove bit here, which is also strange. And similar to like our bedroom, it's just a strange shaped room. And I think if it being all white, it just looks a bit sort of dingy. It's also the darkest room in the house because it's only got those small side windows. So I'm going to try and just freshen it up. I'm thinking a coat of paint across this wall and this wall here just to about there. I've picked a colour from B&Q which is like a pale Hawaiian Miami toned pink if you know what I mean. And then also I've got some bits from Urban Outfitters. I've also picked up a new duvet cover which I think will just really jazz up the room. You guys are gonna love this duvet cover though. I was just obsessed when I saw it on Urban Outfitters. It's just this, a super colorful peachy bedding. Obviously we've got the other peachy bedding which is lovely as well but this one I think is just a little bit more exotic and bright and I think this room needs that. I like what we've got in here so far, like I love that lamp. The shade is from Maison's de Monde. It's lovely, it's really like beachy. I want it to look quite beachy in here because we've obviously got this lovely new bathroom now which isn't quite finished, still haven't got the mirror but thanks everyone who was um, suggesting what would be best. I think I'm gonna go with a circular black outlined mirror or even no outline. I was thinking wooden and some of you guys were saying wooden. I'm still debating wooden actually thinking about it because someone said it would match the door which is true. So maybe, I don't know, <laughs> I still can't find the right mirror for in there. I wanted to make this room nice because we've left it for so long now. Actually, which I think will be really fun to do together. So on Urban Outfitters they have this little pack which you can get with, to make your own kind of collage. So if you can see behind this sticker here, it's got all of these prints in here. I think there's 50 and you can just make a big collage on a wall, which I think will be lovely. They had loads of different color tones. I went for the kind of pale pink tone, but they had like a yellow toned one. They had a flower version, so they were all different flowers. They were really, really cool actually. And also I'm thinking of putting some fairy lights along this coving outline thing and down here and I've also got some uh, faux ivy so I'm going to show you my inspo anyway but I think it'll look really nice it just needs some jazzing up in general we've got the furniture and everything in here but we just need to jazz it up a bit bring some colour it just needs a bit of life and actually Niall's best friend Carl is staying over on the weekend which is very exciting because we haven't had any visitors for a long time and he usually likes this bedroom so I'm hoping to make it all nice by then so I'm gonna get my painting pajamas on and I'm gonna start painting I think so just to show you the inspo for this room so this is the colour that I was hoping for when I was in B&Q Hopefully it'll turn out this kind of tone. <laughs> and then um, when it comes to the ivy, this was the sort of vibe I was hoping for. So we'll see what we can do. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now.
evening everybody. We've got a little cosy setup here for my galaxy cookie. So it's been a while. Hang on, I'm just going to show you my cute little setup. I've been debating whether I'm going to play Animal Crossing or The Sims, but we still haven't decided, have we, Bloob? She's staring at the cookie. Got a cup of tea over there. And we're good to go for a nice cosy evening, aren't we, Blue? Oh, so cute. She's literally my best friend in the world, aren't you? Flipping love you, Bluebell. Go on, yawn it out. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen you. I am going to show you everything in the bedroom Dad says tomorrow and decorate everything with you because I didn't tonight because I was waiting for the paint to dry and it got a little bit kind of dark so I just thought, you know what, we'll do it all tomorrow and um, make it all look nice and I'm really excited to do that actually. The, the paint looks so nice. It's even nicer than I was hoping so I'm excited to show you that in the morning. We're now sitting in bed. Niall's on the Xbox, so we're here. <laughs> I might actually watch Tortured as well. I'm kind of debating whether I want to play a game <laughs> or whether I want to watch something. I never used to be a game person, but since lockdown, I've got into it. But also, I just wanted to say before I leave you until tomorrow, I was actually just on Instagram and I haven't really been on Instagram as much the past week. I put up a little box saying like, how is everyone feeling? And it was crazy, oh gosh, I'm completely out of focus. It was crazy how many people were saying how they're feeling really sad and low and demotivated and anxious this week. Sorry, my battery just died, I had to just get another one. Going back to what, how people seem to be feeling this week, I think it must be in the air because I feel like a lot of people I've spoke to are feeling like that. And to be honest, I have had a little bit of a lower week this week too. Um, I don't really know why. I had a huge cry yesterday. <laughs> it just feels a bit strange this week. But if you're feeling like that right now, I'm sending all my love. Bluebell sending all her love. Niall sends all his love. I wish I could hug you right now. Just remember that this feeling is only temporary. You will probably feel a little bit different tomorrow. Things always change. That's what my mum always tells me. When I feel like in a rut of feeling like really trapped and anxious in my head or down I feel like it's gonna be like that forever but it's not and you've just got to try and get out of that rut and re remind yourself actually this isn't gonna this feeling isn't gonna be forever As I always say I always love doing things like having a bath watching a Disney film or just something funny bring up your friends or your family or just someone that you love because that always makes you feel better like when I ring my grandma I just feel back into the world i feel less trapped in my mind and have a cookie bake some cookies that's another really nice thing to do or have a hot chocolate have a gin have a cup of tea just do something nice for yourself just something small it's the little things that i find help once you've got out of that squashed us in the head but anyway i don't know why i'm rambling on about this because maybe you're fine <laughs> but it's just there was like an overwhelming amount of people that just seem to be really down right now. I just felt like I wanted to chat about it on here too. But yeah, sending all my love. Wish I could hug you. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm currently in the shed, as you can see. And um, I've actually been in here a long time singing some songs and... <laughs> I'm actually going to sing you a little bit of a song because it's the only one I'm really enjoying singing and that's not because of the song that it is but I just want to see if you guys recognise it because it's a slightly different version but I'm going to sing it to you anyway. Let's just do it. What can I say except you're welcome for the wonderful world you know Hey, it's okay, it's okay you're welcome. Well, come to think of it, I gotta go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cause I'm gonna need that boat. I'm sailing away, away. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. definitely know what that song is if you watch my vlogs um anyway anyway i just wanted to have a little bit of a sing today and i've been meaning to want to try 
that song to see how it is on the keys and I thought it'd be quite nice to slow it down and just I don't know <laughs> I quite liked it it's now Thursday let me just shut my laptop I'm actually going to do you know what I'm gonna do actually while we're down here I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna show you hang on where's the keys there they are I'm going to show you the mirrors in the gym because they're in now and oh it looks so good I'm so pleased it just makes the whole shed look so much bigger and it obviously bounces around the light a lot more too wait for it let me turn my light on wait for it look at that they're so cool we've got one there too one over there what are we thinking oh i love it it's just the coolest thing you just need some plants now in here and i think i'm going to put up some little bits of shelving as well but we are basically here with the gym i'm so pleased it's just it's been a very very long process of getting it right and lots of little hiccups in the meantime with building it etc but definitely worth it and I can't wait to do lives in here with you well I already am doing lives in here with you guys but I can't wait to continue doing my live workouts in there with you lot I just love it anyway I'm gonna shut that because Niall's gonna go in there in a sec and the weather is having a party today one minute it's raining one minute it's, it's sunny I can't deal right it's time to decorate the bedroom and I'm gonna reveal the paint now, so wait for it. Wait for a sneak peek. Wait for it, oh my God, I literally love it. Look at it. Don't you love that? I feel like it's such a nice pink. So this paint was called, um, it was called, I can't remember. <laughs> what was this called? Let me find out one sec. Okay, I literally just dug out the sample card out of the bin because the paint pot didn't say, but it is unicorn horn by Valspar and I just think it's such a nice tone because it's not too, it's got an undertone of grey to it so it's not too pinky pink. I love it, it's exactly the colour I was hoping it would turn out and even Niall said he loves it so that's a bit of a thing isn't it? Obviously it's still very bare and I've got all this stuff that I need to put up so I'm going to pop the bedding on with you now and then I'm going to start putting the fairy lights around this outliney bit and um, I'm gonna have a play around with the ivy and then I'm gonna make the collage. I'm thinking to go on this wall here. We do have some big prints coming from Urban Outfitters for the back wall, so I won't be able to do that today, unfortunately. But yeah, most of it I'll be able to do. The world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine But nothing ever changes And now I see I feel like Fireman Sam I was just knocking in those I'm not used to using a hammer I can't believe it worked. I was halfway through thinking, oh, it's not going to show you. Come on then, camera honey. So I was halfway through and I started to panic because I realised to go up and across, I needed to actually also go back to go over here. <laughs> and then this bit looked really weird when it was doubled up. But then I figured if I wrapped them all in together and twisted them, it'd still look like one line of lights. And it does. Oh my god, how cool is that? I've always found that border so annoying in this room because it just looks so random. That looks so cute. Love it. What's up? It's been a few hours and I thought that I would catch up with you basically. I'm having a gin after Thursday. Me and I'll actually having a little bit of a date night. I'm going to show you what he's cooking because it looks really nice. But I just want to show you the progress on the bedroom to finish off today's vlog. Let me show you. It's not quite finished but we're getting there. It's all yet? Yeah, I have a little bit. I, sh I put a sort of time lapse, didn't I? So this is how we're looking. What we're thinking is very pink in the dark, but very I quite pink in like the light it. as well. No, it, it isn't quite as pink. It looks more pink because it's like the orangey dark light. I like it. I think it looks good. It's just extremely... it's quite girly, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Cool. <laughs> I to be fair, I didn't expect it to turn out quite as girly as this, 
but it's fine. It's I cute. Think maybe with different bed sheets. Uh, do not remove the large peaches. I like the collage, and I do like collage the looks. Oh yeah, I. So, sorry, what were you saying? It's just we just need to have a, a girl, really, a girl child. There we go. Then that's next on the agenda. <laughs> well, Bryony, I showed her on Facetime a second ago, and she loved it. Yeah, but she's a girl. She likes a bit of pink. <laughs> um. Anyway, I was, I was just gonna say, I actually decided to put the collage on this wall in the end rather than this wall because as Niall said to me just before I was about to do it, it would just be too pink. What we're gonna do on this wall is do two hanging plants, I think, when we've got some proper like hanging bits. Yeah, we did try it, didn't we? We did try and it fell and, and broke a bit wall, of the wall. <laughs> but we're gonna do two hanging plants <laughs> I there, I think. Room and I just heard... <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that? And then we've got the big print going behind here which says a hip, a hop, a hippity hop. I said a hip hop, something, something. Yeah. Go on, do it. I don't know. That one, that one. It's in big and it look, I think it looks really cool. It's from Urban Outfitters. And I just want to say quickly where things are from, just because, in case you want to know, Urban Outfitters collage, Urban Outfitters bed, it was basically all Urban Outfitters to be fair. Urban Outfitters bed, uh, fairy lights actually, someone asked on Instagram, they're just from Amazon. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the ivy either. I'm not sure, can't decide, but we'll see. It's not quite finished, but we're getting there. It looks so much better. If they look back at the footage when I walked in oh, this yeah, room it looks yesterday, so much, better. It so makes, much more cozy. It makes the room look nice. Bryony loves think. the fairy lights, you know. I'd quite like to see them without, because I didn't actually see that sort of board a bit. I think it looks really good. Anyway, let me know what you think, but I feel like that was massive progress this week. I literally. Huh? Didn't have the light on, did you? We didn't have the light on! Oh my god! The hell? Oh, it looks less pink now, told you. Oh my god, it looks way better. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Looking fine, girl. Anyway. Yeah, because you can see the white now. Yeah, it looks good. It was just like, as well as the snug here, this room, there are two rooms in the house that I just don't love. So I'm really happy. And I feel like it's going to be nice when people come and visit, isn't it? To stay in my little pink haven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm actually gonna love you and leave you. Niall is cooking. What are you cooking? You must have low down. Crispy chili beef is a Chinese takeaway classic. There we go. It's not healthy. That's what you get from a Chinese takeaway, isn't it? That's my favourite, yeah. I'm it is good to be it. fair. I'm not a massive Chinese takeaway fan, but I'm excited because it is really, really nice. I've also got EastEnders from 2008 on. <laughs> just because it's on BBC iPlayer now, and I'm loving it. But, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of the bedroom. And I'll hopefully, oh, there's a very exciting weekly vlog next week. The exciting news is coming. I'm not even exaggerating and trying to create hype. It's exciting, isn't it? You wait. Anyway, I'll hopefully see you there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Have a gin on me, and I'll see you soon.